Thank you. The question is that Amendment 12389.2, in the name of Jenny Gilruth, which seeks to amend Motion 12389, in the name of Liam Kerr, on ending violence in Scottish schools, be agreed. And members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 12389.2 in the name of Jenny Gilruth is yes 92, no 20. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 12389.1 in the name of Pam Duncan Glancy, which seeks to amend motion 12389 in the name of Liam Kerr on ending violence in Scottish schools, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Point of order, Keith Brown. If I might just ask you to repeat that, Mr. Yeah, I was unable to connect and would have voted no. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 12389.1 in the name of Pam Duncan Glancy is yes 53, no 61. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. And the next question is that motion 12389 in the name of Liam Kerr as amended on ending violence in Scottish schools be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is closed. Point for George Adam. I'm really quite disappointed in the system as it bumped me out when I was already in it. And I would have voted yes. Thank you, Mr Adam. We'll ensure that's recorded. Ivan McKee I likewise was uh, bumped out of the system. Um, I also would have voted yes. Thank you, Mr McKee. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 12389 in the name of Liam Kerr, as amended, is yes 94, no 20, there were no abstentions. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 12388.3 in the name of Mary McCallum, which seeks to amend motion 12388 in the name of Douglas Lumsden on backing Scotland's oil and gas sector, be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 12388.3 in the name of Mary McAllen is yes 61, no 52, there were no abstentions, the amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 12388.1 in the name of Daniel Johnson, which seeks to amend motion 12388 in the name of Douglas Lumsden on backing Scotland's oil and gas sector be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 12388.1 in the name of Daniel Johnson 
is yes, 19, no, 95. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 12388 in the name of Douglas Lumsden as amended on backing Scotland's oil and gas sector be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. I call Christine McKelvey for a point of order. Booted if out the system. Um, um, I would have voted yes. Thank you, Ms McKelvey. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion one two sorry, just excuse me a moment. The result of the vote on motion one two three eight eight in the name of Douglas Lumsden, as amended, is yes, 62, no, 51. There was one abstention. The motion, as amended, is therefore agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on five parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects. Therefore, the final question is that motions 12400 and 12401 on approval of SSIs, 12402 on committee membership, 12403 on committee substitutes, and 12404 on designation of lead committees in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motions are therefore agreed and that concludes decision time and we will shortly move on to members business in the name of Keith Brown.